right, we are filling uh, a frack tank with with nothing but fresh water. We have a designated fresh water trailer, so that's what I have, and we're filling frack tanks for what I, I call it a boss rig, but it's got a different name, but just a great big rig, a drilling rig. So uh, we'll climb up and I'll show you how to check this tank. It's a little different. Uh, it's a little different than, than normal. So we'll hop out and uh, I'll show you how, how I do it. I got to turn my pump on first because we're going to, and I only have my handle open halfway because I'm going to be up on top of the frack tank watching this water. And uh, so I'll show you how you do it. Let me grab my gloves. And this is where we are today. We got this rig here. It's called uh, PaceX. I think it just came from Philadelphia. So, right there. And we're filling, what we're filling is, we're filling this blue frack tank here. And if I'm not mistaken, they're both being fed into each other. So, uh, it'll equalize. So, but we're going to keep an eye on it because this one, It'll be close from the load that I have on. I brought 100 barrels. I brought 100 barrels and we're going in the back of that. And that's a, uh, a candy cane right there. So we're gonna climb up on top of that in the front and I'll show you how you kind of watch it because you want to make sure nothing's leaking and nothing's spilling before you go. But uh, yeah, these are, these are basically what they call day tanks and uh, they require really clean fresh water. They can't have any oil or anything else, any kind of matter in it besides fresh water. So pretty strict about who brings the water here. Uh, ourselves and one other company only have the designated fresh water trailer. So you gotta climb up this ladder, it's a little loud. You gotta kind of watch yourself here. You grab onto these rails, high rails, and you gotta climb up. And then what we're looking at, what we're watching, is down in here, which I'm pretty sure 100 barrels will fit right here. I don't know if y'all can see down there, but it's about three feet down maybe. So it's got a pump filling to equalize. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that water filling in right there. So what happens is they use this water here, these two tanks, they pull it and mix it with other stuff over there that's got to be clean. I don't know if that's cement or what. Uh, I know they have uh, they have different things that they mix up over there, but pretty complicated system, but they seem to have a pretty good grip on it. So, so we're just kind of watching this, making sure it doesn't overflow. Even if it's fresh water, you don't, you don't want to ever make a mistake and overflow. So. And then the other one, I looked at and it was kind of high I guess a foot and a half two maybe so we're just filling up these two tanks right here so I always try to stay on top when I'm filling a frack tank and watch it especially if I'm not sure a lot of times you can tell if the room will fit the water will fit if there's room for it but uh, this looks like it'd be pretty close so better to be safe Putting in a new well here. It's a pretty day today. The lake's over here. This is Lake Sakakawea. Goes all the way out and around. Big, big, big lake. It's great for walleye fishing. If you're if you're a fisher person. So you can see it's still kind of filling up. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure my hundred barrels is gonna fit without much difficulty. They want this topped off. I think 100 barrels. So what I'm going to do is climb down and open my handle up to make the water go in a little faster. Right now I have it at half throttle. But I feel pretty confident that uh, I feel pretty confident that the water won't overflow because I'm a little ways away from the truck. So you just got to kind of make sure you got time to shut the handle. And we got to climb down this thing. Hey, I'm going to be careful. Let's go around and open that handle up a little more. So this one is a salt water uh, brine tank, they call it, but it's salt water. The other two are fresh. 
you don't want to ever make a mistake of putting fresh water in their salt water tank <laughs> they get a little upset with you if you do that so let's open this handle up I, yeah man so he's checking they got to check the quality of the water so what we're going to do is open up a little valve for them so they can test it you want to open up that little valve there and they'll come they'll come check it can we shut it off until you're ready i'll kind of open up a little bit oh, here you go right here got two little cups. good yep so i'll shut it off when you're ready just in case i fuck up one yeah no problem man <laughs> and then usually uh yeah, this is we're the only one or two people with the designated freshwater trailer for you. Okay. So the only reason it's a little brown is because it's been sitting for about three weeks with, with you know it hadn't been used, so it's got a little rusty color to it. Yeah, but, I guess they call they want to. Yeah, it's cool, man. No, no, it's cool. Go ahead. Yeah, they don't want to flash the fucking steam in or yeah. anything like that. You want me to so. shut it off completely till you're ready? Huh? You want me to shut it off till you're ready and let me know? No, uh, I guess go ahead. You're already pumping, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got about thirty or forty barrels already. I got to find so. chloride strips. Okay. It should be good. It's, a, it's so, well water. It came up right out of the earth, so yeah. it's not like a, it's not like I pulled it out of some weird place or anything. So, okay. all right, all right. Yep. Let me know, man. This should, this one load will probably do it too. So, one load. yeah, it's gonna be pretty close to yeah. full with this. So, I haven't checked it. So, yeah, I was up there. It's got about two and a half foot, maybe, but I still have a hundred. I mean, I probably have sixty barrels still left. So, okay. I'll keep, I'm gonna climb back up on it and check right. it. Yep. So he's gonna test the chlorine, the chlorination of the water to make sure it's uh the right standard or whatever i know with the boiler when they do the boiler we have to go to a special place in a different town and get their water because i don't know if it's filtered or what but they put it on a little scale or not a scale but they it may be a scale but they test it with a strip and stuff to make sure it's a certain ph i think or something i'm not sure so we'll climb back up and see where we are I opened it up all the way, so it's going to be filling up a lot faster now. We'll climb back up, see where we are. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's coming up. So we got about two foot now. I don't know if you can see it or not. So they want to kind of, you want to fill it up within six or eight inches. No more than 10 really from the top they like it full full so but it's looking good once he checks that we'll know and then uh i always keep an eye on the second one just in case i know they equalize but better to check it and then what you do is when I'm finished, when I'm empty, I'm gonna let the water blow off for a minute because the candy cane, what happens is the candy cane, if the water's here or the top of the frack tank's here, the candy cane stops right there and uh, it blows the water off and air into the frack tank and you can empty your line that way. But if not, you gotta be careful and uh, it doesn't splash out and stuff, but this is usually pretty good. It usually doesn't splash. So. They want me to uh, water the pad after this, so I gotta go get another load of fresh water and then go get the sprayer. And then you hook the sprayer up in the back and you drive around water. Pretty easy, pretty simple. He's coming back now, so we'll kind of see what he says. It's hot here today, it's like 90, clear. I didn't even take another load. I don't know. I don't know how much I got left on. I mean, you got to go check it and see. But there's room for one more load if that's it. Getting there. And normally what I'll do is I'll walk to the, see where I can see my truck. So I can see where my arrow is. So right now we still have about 30 barrels. You can see my arrow below the number two. It's a thing going like that. So what it does is once it touches that metal at the bottom, I know it's empty. So probably 20 or 30 barrels still left. On my my regular trailer, I always I have increments marked on my trailer, but with the freshwater trailer, 
it's pretty much always the same. We fill up frack tanks or whatever, so we don't worry about uh, certain amounts on the trailer or anything. So, but you can kind of tell after you've used the trailer a little while, kind of where it is. So, about 20 barrels left. So I'm gonna climb down because I know with 20 barrels to even 30, there's plenty of room still left in the open top. Climb down here. <coughs> So what we'll do is now we'll go stand at the back of the truck and uh, let it finish out, let it bottom out. And then it, what happens is it blows a lot of air and water for about 15 to 30 seconds. So you always want to be at the back of the trailer to make sure in case it, you know, nothing comes on, you know, disconnected or sometimes the hose will bounce around pretty good. So you always want to watch that when you're, when you're near empty because uh once it empties a whole bunch of air and water kind of rushes through it and makes it get a little it can get a little violent sometimes like bouncing around and stuff but not bad just got to watch it sometimes it can come unhooked at the at the frack tank so you don't want that but i don't know if you can see those see those fittings and stuff where it connects to the back of the trailer it uh Sometimes if that bounces around pretty good, it could knock one loose, so you gotta watch it. Let's see, we have yeah, probably about, about the same, maybe 15 barrels left. So, what happens is I'll show you what I do when it finishes. It's almost done. I don't know if you can see that arrow up there. The arrow is what I'm talking about right here. And the tip of it, once it touches that metal down here, I know it's empty, so. And usually when it gets close to the bottom, it goes pretty fast, because you know it's almost out, so. I'll show you the hose as it bounces around once we get there. And then you just close it off. And my uh, pressure relief valve is messing up, so what I'm gonna have to do is use where the handle is on the pump and you take and you bump it to the middle and you listen for the air coming out and that's another way around it if your pressure relief valve messes up and you can't open it to relieve pressure i'll show you how to do that it'll be pretty loud but just so you know that's what's going on almost empty maybe maybe 10 barrels left the arrow's still moving coming down and this truck has a really good pump on it so usually the air pressure is pretty strong on some of the trailers we have we have a little gauge that shows you how much air pressure <clears throat> is being pushed off but this one we don't do it all right about five barrels left confident that we had plenty of room in the frack tank so that's why i'm not still standing up there the arrow's getting down maybe three barrels left the arrow's coming on down you'll notice it'll start to move as it gets close to the end it'll move pretty fast you should be able to see it yeah, it's starting to go now. We're almost empty. And sometime I'll close this handle halfway and it prevents it from being so uh, violent banging around. But you can tell if you put your hand here on the hose, you'll feel the air. Like I'm starting to feel a little air right now, but you'll see it start to jump around. starting to bubble it should be almost empty now there it goes I feel more bubble you can see the hose starting to move a little bit bouncing it'll bounce a lot here in a second you always watch the top of the frack tank make sure nothing's splashing out the top there it goes see how it's starting to bounce around so what you do is you watch the frack tank, you make sure nothing's splashing out, but you can see it's almost empty there. That's how you know it's empty. 
and it'll stop once it's completely empty. But you're watching that frack tank to make sure at the top of that candy cane, nothing's splashing out the top. And it usually doesn't take very long to go all the way completely empty. The hose will stop shaking. All right, that way the hose isn't heavy when you gotta put it back on the trailer. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open that handle halfway and it'll let that pressure off the trailer instead of using, normally I would open it here, but that's been messing up. So we're gonna go here. This is a trick you can do to, if that messes up. That's what you do. And what you do is you climb in real quick and turn off your pump so the pressure starts coming off. And then we're gonna go unhook. Before I unhook, you can do it either before or after. I'm gonna climb back up there and see how much room is left to see if another load will fit. So you gotta do that because uh, when they want you to top it off, they leave it to your discretion as to how much. But once you tell them it's full, they, they take your word for it. But if, if you don't do it right, they, they get very upset with you. So. Climb up one more time. Up here, let's check it. it. Should be pretty close. All right, so we have about a foot and a half, maybe. So I'm gonna say that's probably good. I'll let the company man know we had a foot, about a foot left, and. Uh, We'll see what he says. Well, let's go ahead and hook the hose. We're gonna climb back down. They may want 50 barrels. They may want us to top it off. So we'll go see. There's usually one guy that's here during the day and one guy at night that called the company man and they run the show. And whatever they say goes. So you just listen to them. You don't listen to anybody else. Unless the company man tells you he's, he told them to tell you. <laughs> so, but that's it. So now I'm gonna unhook it over here and I had to run it through all this high voltage temple plastic stuff. So I gotta do that and run it back through. But, but that's pretty much it, okay? I already closed the valve. I'm gonna unhook here. I'm gonna put it back up on the trailer and talk to the company man. So that's fresh water in a day tank for a big, I call it a boss rig, you call it whatever you want. They said this one came from Pennsylvania. I don't know what they call it, but all right, y'all have a good one.